In this problem, we're going to calculate the change in internal energy, which is delta E, when 15.5 grams of acetylene reacts. It's telling me there's an external pressure of one atmosphere pushing against this, and um, as it expands or reacts, it will return to 25, and we'll make our measurement for that. Now, the first law of thermodynamics tells me that the change in energy is the sum of the heat term and the work term. Since we are working against an external pressure um, we can re that's constant. We can replace the Q with delta H because Q at constant pressure environment is delta H and we could re replace the work with minus um, P delta V. So we could come in here and use the P's and the change in volumes to calculate that or use our balance equation and use PV equals NRT. We can replace the minus P delta V with um, instead, delta E equals delta H minus RT delta N. Now we know it's PV equals NRT. The volume is changing, therefore the moles are changing um, in a direct relationship. So now we can look at our balanced equation and plug information in. What we're calculating now is the change in internal energy for the balanced equation. And that's not exactly what's being asked yet, but let's get it for the balanced equation. The delta H is a negative 1255.5 kilojoules. R, we'll need the one that's in units of joules, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. But I can't add these terms unless we're in kilojoules. So let's go ahead and a kilojoules is a thousand joules. So now we have it in kilojoules per mole Kelvin. Okay, that's the R. The temperature is in Kelvin at 298, because that's what 25 degrees Celsius is. And delta N. Now, delta N is a change in moles of gas, final minus initial. We have three moles of gas in the balanced equation at the end, and we have three and a half moles, so that's one plus two and a half. We have three and a half moles of gas at the beginning. So as you go through and you calculate this, you are going to determine that for the reaction as balanced, we have 1254.3 kilojoules. And I have got a plus sign here when I should have a minus sign. Okay, minus RT delta N. Now we see that we're going to be subtracting a negative number, so we're going to be adding a little bit back, changes it slightly, and usually the work term is much smaller than the um, heat portion. And we see that case here, it's almost the same as the delta H, but it did bring it up ever so slightly to a little less negative value of 1254.3. Now these, this quantity is for the equation as balanced. But they didn't ask for it in the amount as balanced. They want to know it when you react this amount of acetylene. So let's start with the 15.5 grams of acetylene, C2H2. Well, this relationship here is for the balanced equation. So if we incorporate what we know about the C2H2, it is 1254.3 kilojoules for every one mole of C2H2 that reacts. So I know that this is the relationship from my thermochemical equation that I'll need to use. But this is not a delta H, this is a delta E. But it doesn't, it works the same way. So the first thing I'll need to do is go from grams of C2H2 to moles of C2H2. Okay, the molar mass is 26.04 grams per mole. Now I can use that relationship that I determined above and go from moles of C2H2 to the total delta E and we have 1254.3 kilojoules for every one mole. This will give me negative 747 <clears throat> excuse me, kilojoules. So this was for the balanced equation and this is for the amounts given.